So in our previous lab, we have seen how do you set up a Jenkins server, how do you set up an Apache Tomcat server, and how do you do a service connection between Azure DevOps and Jenkins, and then how do you do a CI on Jenkins, sorry, CI on Azure DevOps and CD on Jenkins. Now in this lab, everything remains the same, but we are going to do a CI on Jenkins and CD on Azure DevOps. It's going to be a reverse one. Okay. So as usual, I'm going to dev.azure.com and then I'm logging into my Azure DevOps account and then I'm choosing my project DevOps demo one. I'm going to my pipelines because you have already set up service connection, service hooks and everything. Now I'm just directly going to the pipelines and then I'm clicking on new pipeline. And as I told you last time, there are two options to create a pipeline. One is YAML, another one is classic editor. So I like classic editor, which is going to be pipeline without YAML. <clears throat> so I'm clicking on classic editor and my code still remains on the GitHub. So I'm just choosing a GitHub. And if you see, it is default authorized to your GitHub account. So I'm just choosing my project and then a branch is chosen then clicking on continue and last time if you remember since we have done a ci on azure devops we have chosen this maven template now i just need my ci to be running on jenkins now so i'm just going down and then just choosing a jenkins template over here when i click on apply by default if you see the jenkins template is created and here it will ask you for a job name okay and this is the service connection name which you can choose it over here and this job name is nothing but your Jenkins job name where your CI has to run. So now what should I do? I should go to my Jenkins. <clears throat> this is my Jenkins. And I just created a job now called as Jenkins CI. And then when I click on configure, I'll see like on the source code management, I have just linked it to the GitHub. And then I'm choosing a master. And on the build, I have just clicked on this and I have chosen my top level Maven because my project is a Maven project. I've just chosen a maven and then i'm click i'm click, uh, giving the goals like if you remember the same goals we are given last time on azure devops now we are giving the same goals on jenkins side and then clicking on save that's all this is going to be my ci job on jenkins and this job name is jenkins ci so i'm just copying this job name and then i'm putting it over here and automatically the job name will be populated and then the output of that jenkins will be copied to this Azure DevOps and it will be published on our artifacts. Now I have already created this job. So let me show you that. So which is like Jenkins as a CI and Azure DevOps as a CD. When I click on edit, if you see, I just have the same jobs and the job name is Jenkins CI. I have just given it. So the job will be queued and then the artifacts of war files or file everything will be downloaded to this artifact staging directory and it will be published to our artifacts. Now when I click on queue, I told you I can choose my agent option so i'm just using ubuntu 18 and if i want to give any commit id i can just give it and when i click on run what happens again the agent it is queued and whichever agent is free it automatically starts it <coughs> now what happens when that jenkins job is being started over here let me show it side by side let me have it like this and let me have it like this so now when you see it see the jenkins job has been kicked off so i just started a job on azure devops but it is starting the job on jenkins if you see the first job is running over here so when i click on this one option and console output i can see the job is done so if you see it is success so now <clears throat> what happened this output and everything will be copied if you see basically from Azure DevOps side, people will be thinking like the job is running on Azure DevOps, but from Azure DevOps using the service connection, it is connected to Jenkins and Jenkins is actually running the job over here. And this output will be copied back to Azure DevOps and it will be stored in our artifacts. Okay. So now when you actually go one step back, we can see all the areas over here. Okay. Now what happens? We just need to create another job called a CD job, which is going to be your release job. I'm just going to the release option and then here I just need to create a new release and this new release is nothing but again I'm just taking an input from my Azure DevOps build so if this is going to be my build because from the build only I'm just copying the artifacts okay I just need to copy this and this is going to be my production step and here you have this option of choosing your deploy to Tomcat server 
similarly in Jenkins if you remember we have this option of when I go to configure I'll show you we have this option of deploy to container and war file and ER file for the Tomcat and I'm just giving the Tomcat URL I'm just giving the Tomcat credentials over here and I'm just giving what is a file name similarly there is a plugin available in Azure DevOps called deploy application to Tomcat server so I'm just giving the Tomcat server URL I'm just giving the username and password and then I'm just giving where is a war file name okay and Tomcat version is 7 and above for us because it's 9 so here what I can choose I can just choose the war file over here and in this case the war file is not being properly copied that's the reason we are able to get this error but when this war file is being properly copied and then when you create a release automatically we can see the new release is being created and this is being failed as I was telling you about because the war file is not being copied properly because it will say like it is not able to find the war file okay so I will try to rectify this and then I'll try to rerun this job again and then I'll show you the same output on Tomcat server okay but this is just the process that we need to do while copying the files from Jenkins as a CD and Azure DevOps as a sorry Jenkins as a CI and Azure DevOps as a CD okay so if you guys have any doubts or anything please feel free to reach out and have a practice on this because this is quite easy if you are able to do one step it will be easy for you guys to do the other steps as well so just try to this and then let me know if you guys face any issues and i'll try to rectify this and then i'll show you a complete output in the next lab okay thank you